Hey, Anthony here from West Coast Custom Concrete, the best in the West. We're bringing you today's video from Fountain Valley, California. This is the job I, the last video I did where I demoed the, this property, this concrete out with the S70 and the Susan Breaker. I got Milton and Javier and um, Milton Jr. with me. We're setting this up. This is the next day. We graded it with the mini. And the soil was so bad, we had to bring in some road base on it. It was a little spongy and it had rained for four or five days and it was clay soil so I didn't want to pour on top of expansive soil so I brought in some road base. We'll spread it with S70. We're just setting these forms up. We put a sidewalk in. We took a planter out. We made it one planter a little shorter. Uh, put the patio in and then he put a 14 by 14 off to the side with a walkway through it where he's going to put DG and um, pavers in the middle in uh, vegetation, maybe something like a Japanese maple or really cool stuff, some tea trees, different stuff. So Milton's setting this up here, and then we'll be putting the rebar in. This was about 17, 1600 square feet when we demoed it out, and they poured back, I think they poured back about 1200 square feet, because we had different walkways and stuff, they're going to be DG. Here's a road base I backed up and dumped it in with the trailer, and Javier's going to spread it all out. You know, a lot of people on here say, oh, concrete's hard work and this and that. It's just, it's just about how you go about it. And if you're working for a company and they're not teaching you and you're not advancing, I'd look to go to other places because you're wasting time and you only have a certain amount of time to have a career doing it. So I'd go to a place where they're really going to show you and advance you. And we're just riding down the base here. We just set string lines in all elevations and it's the height of the 2 by 4 so we're just riding the base with that. Javier pounding these in. You know, and if they're using wheelbarrows and Georgia buggies and stuff like that, just because where you're from, I mean, it's the 21st century. There's a little thing, invention called the concrete pump. It doesn't have to be hard, and you have to man it where each guy has a certain task that they do, and they can, and it's where a man can handle it, and, the, and they're good, and they can handle each guy's itinerary that you set for them. And you have a game plan to do it. It's not just winged and you're doing this and oh I'll jump over here what about that it's already pre-planned there's not too much going on here so you know exactly what's going on when you're doing it he's going to form it you're going to put the rebar in just like when you're pouring you got to have a game plan when you're doing it all in California sets a precedence for work in a standard there's a standard out here there's so many good people out here and there's so many high-end companies and high-end houses and so many concrete finishers, and I had the luxury of being a concrete pumper, of seeing them personally day after day for 20 years. So I've had the luxury to see what the standard is and, and what, what's good. It doesn't have to be hard, like, you know, wheelbarrowing it and Georgia buggy, and you can't put rebar in because you can't run it over. And I mean, it's just stupid. When you look at it, you, just because the way they showed you where you're from doesn't mean that, 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 that it's right. Be an independent thinker. Think outside the box and do it the way you want to do it. Or when you watch YouTube, pick something up from each guy, each person you see out there. And you can really um, own something in the, in, that's really nice. Because you're in Southern California doing this. It's a shark tank. you got to be good. There's so many good guys out here. There's a lot of money backing them. They have a lot of equipment. So wherever you're at, you can really set a high level for what you're doing. So I'm setting my pump up here. This is an Olin 545. This is Olin and TA pumps. They're both made out of Orange County. They're the two best pumps in the world, bar none. There's thousands of pumpers out here, and that's what every single guy runs. We've all seen Poots Meisters and Schwings and Reeds, and we've seen it all. I've ran them all. You can assume I know. I used to specialize in long hose runs and low sack slurries, high PSI, four or 500 foot long runs. I would pump high-rise buildings, lightweight concrete with with this 45. So you can do anything you want to do with the pump. There's no job you can't pump with it. So we're going to be laying this down. What we're doing is we're laying it down off the house to get the fall away from the house. And then we'll turn and burn the opposite way. Because you got to get the water flowing away from the house. Once you get that, you use that wet screed coming turn and burn sideways to get the flow out the other way. So we'll get the house first, and then we'll turn. That's a 16-foot rod stick. That's Milton and Milton Jr. and Javier. I think it's just us four that day. 
Yeah, it is. Oh, Milton and his son. Milton Jr. is really coming around. He's been finishing for about eight or nine months, and he's better than any anyone I've seen on YouTube, and he's only been finishing. That's what I'm saying about who's teaching you and showing you. We make him dive in there, and he's cutting joints. He's doing it all. You got to have the right person that's going to let you advance at what you're doing at a rapid pace. So we're pumping this down. This is a 3,000 straight cement. No fly ash and microfibers. Probably at a five and a half or a six. So I'm going to be washing my pump out here. We laid it down like 20 minutes. That's my point. That's about 150 feet, 175 feet of hose. We put it down in 20 minutes. Just not going wide open. Just splashing all over. Just laying it down. Because you want if you're going to be good, you got to get it on the ground. You, they're already bowl floated. You don't see anyone out here sweating or worked all day like they're exhausted because of the way we go about it we already told a bowl fluid on it this is 20 minutes later and we stripped the forms the same day everything we're gone when the job's done it's stripped it, the whole property's cleaned and we're gone i don't come back still in a fresno on this there's junior so we, we have every guy do everything all facets of um finishing Everybody can cut joints, everybody could screed, everybody could do whatever needs to be done. If anyone wants to switch or do something else that day, the other guy can handle it. And that's all you have to think of it. you got to have a game plan. And 99.9% um, .9 of the time, your stuff will be perfect. Jointing this up real good. Right where Javier is, where they're going to put the DG... We kept the existing planter in the back from the other side. We matched it all the way around. So you can walk around this 14 by 14. He's going to have DG and pavers in the middle. and I'm not sure how he's going to landscape it. He was figuring it out. And that's how you run a funny trail. That saves you a pass from getting out there. So I've seen other stuff on here where they're, it's so hokey. They're like rotting it and then they just bowl float it and it's done. And throw a broom on it with it, with it piss wet. And that's not the standard out here. You would you would get thrown out of here if you came to SoCal and tried that. You got to be able to skate out, cut joints, funny trowel, Fresno it. You can seal it up out here. There's no freeze and there's no cold. You don't need to put stone either for water drainage like in other states. That's another nice thing that's out here. You don't have to dig it down. If the soil is good, 90% of the time you can just compact it. And uh, pour right on top of it. This particular one, it was a little too clay. I didn't like what I was seeing. <clears throat> That's why I brought the road base in. You're throwing a perfect broom on it. Timing's perfect. This came out another 10. Perfect job. Another best in the West. That's just as clean as you can get. So when you see stuff like this and you're from other states, you can... Pretty much get the idea what the standard is out here because this is the top of the shelf the my company and what we do and there's a lot of good guys out here i gotta admit i've seen all kinds of stuff there's so many good finishers and there's pumps on every corner there's thousands of pumps thousands of finishers so it's kind of a luxury out here for us if you were going to wheelbarrow it or any of that they would think you're out of your mind here you'd get thrown out they, they wouldn't hire you there's a sidewalk we put in the newer one, put it a little wider. Here's the patio coming up here. That's another best in the West. Best on YouTube, best anywhere. Thank you very much for watching the best in the West. And feel free to look at my Instagram at West Coast Custom Concrete. Thank you.